Day three of the Punchestown Festival, and what a day we have in store. The Labrook Champion Stairs Hurdle, Nichols Canyon, so brilliant in the Sunbet Stairs Hurdle at Cheltenham. Back trying to do it on home soil. I suppose he's done all his winning earlier on in his career over two miles. He won six grade ones over that trip, and then he won a grade one over two and a half miles as well. But he looked brilliant when stepped up to three miles at Cheltenham. And the one, two, three from Cheltenham, you've got Nichols Canyon, Little Rockefeller, and you know what I mean, Harry, all locking horns again. What a clash that's going to be. And then you throw into the mix Sutton Place from the Gordon Elliott stable. This could be a huge bearing on the Irish trainer's title. Sutton Place, if he could win this for Gordon Elliott, it could mean that Elliott is home and hose in that race. The other grade one on the card is the Ryanair Novice Chase at 6.40. And this is all about great field, the enigmatic great field. How exciting is this horse? He just goes off out in front. Not since under so have we seen a style like this. He could be 10 lengths clear at the first fence. He could be 30 lengths clear at the fourth fence. Will he be able to sustain such a gallop? Only time will tell, but Greatfield has looked brilliant in all his chases. He's unbeaten over fences. Jody McGarvey has clicked with him, and how brilliant it is to see Jody McGarvey getting on a good horse. He's a really, really good rider from Coleraine, and uh, I think he deserves to be on a good horse like this, and he's proven what he can do when he gets his chance. That's great field in the 640. He's taken on by the likes of Ordinary World, who ran ran okay in the Arkle at Cheltenham, and then you've got Balls Ark and a Ty Phil from the Gordelia stable. Probably not the greatest great one of the grade one of the week but still a fascinating race nonetheless with great field in there we've also got a big handicap chase on the card as well which sees Cheltenham Festival winner Tully East who won the Close Brothers handicap chase at the Cheltenham Festival he goes in the 415 the pigsback.com Nick Cohen memorial chase how nice of a gesture by Punchestown to put Nick Cohen, a friend of everybody here at Punchestown, into their race title. And I think this can go to Don't Touch It for Jessica Harrington and Mark Walsh. I thought his, ra his run at Ferry House last week was really, really eye-catching. I think that might have left him perfect for this big handicap, which is worth 38000 to the winner. Don't Touch It is a grade one winner over hurdles. He could take a hell of a lot of beating in that. We've got an eight-race card, and we've also got the Latouche as well, which will see Ender Bulger trying to continue his fantastic record in the race. He's got Cantlow, who's like to be a warm order he was third at Cheltenham uh, behind Cause of Causes and that form looks rock solid and as everybody knows the Latouche here is one of the highlights of the week we've got an eight race card that kicks off at 3.40 what a day we have in store